up everybody welcome to another video here on Alvaro's Outdoor Adventures on today's video I'm going to show you how to install a camera to use as you're backing up on your RV uh, that way you can see in the back uh, you can use it for a boat or or an RV I'm installing it in my RV so stick around and hope you like this video if you're new to my channel welcome and please consider subscribing also hit that bell button so you can get notified anytime I upload a video my faithful subscribers welcome back Hopefully you like this video. I know it's a little different from my regular content. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. All right, so here's the camera I got from um, Amazon. As you can see, it's 119 bucks. The brand is Do Honest and it really comes with everything you need to install. Uh, I had already opened it, but here I'm going to show you. Here's the screen. I believe it's a 7 inch uh, screen. Here's the camera. That's what I'm going to mount on the back. And this is what I'm going to use to mount it on my windshield. So here are brackets uh, that's to install it on the dashboard and cables and some screws nuts and then of course your manual start off there's these four screws that need to come off I'm going to take that off. And this uh, RV is already equipped with uh, to mount a backup camera, but it's for the Furion brand. And of course, I don't have that brand of camera. But this is how I'm going to be installing it right there. Um, first obstacle I came across was the cable and or the connector cable so we can see right here I won't be able to use the existing connection so I'm gonna have to remove this one and put in the one that came with the package and I'm gonna need to remove the whole housing so there's these four screws here that I'm going to have to take out. I'm going to be using the same housing, uh, maybe putting some zip ties at the bottom here and to hold it in place or drill another hole that way I can put one of those smaller screws in there to hold it but um, that's the plan so here's one of the cables that came with the camera and you can see that the connector does fit so that's what I'm going to be using I'm going to be cutting it that way I don't have all of that uh, cable to hide so I'm taking that guard off or water gasket I don't know what's it called and getting all the cables now these cameras are equipped with the um, power source from those uh, lights above so as, soon as, as long as those lights are turned on then the camera is going to start working so if your headlights are turned on your um, camera is going to be working uh, here I'm going to use that same connector take the wire off and here I already cut it to uh, fit or cut it almost the same uh, but hold on I put it on the wrong way uh, like I said I'm going to use everything that's there 
and um, install it back how, how it was. So here I'm using the same connector and getting it all connected. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about the fall in a bit. What you saw at the beginning of the video. So once I have all of that connected, I'm gonna push it back in through that hole, um, hide that same cable through there, and um, get it back into place. I'm not doing anything permanently yet, because I wanna make sure it all fits and works before I uh, seal it. That's why I'm leaving a, a big chunk of cable. So here's a camera. If you can see the white spots on the back, I use the double-sided tape. You can see it there. Um, I got the zip ties on there. You can see as much as I shake it, it won't break off or even uh, come loose. So that's how I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna cut the ends of the uh, zip ties and then mount it all together. I'm gonna hide all the cables uh, as much as I can behind that bracket. And um, put it in. Again, I'm gonna start just putting the two screws on the top. just to hold it in place to make sure it it works and it um, then I could uh, mess around with adjusting it where I want it to be and then uh, I'm gonna put the antenna this this camera is wireless by the way All right, magic trick. So here I have four aces. Yeah, I'm just gonna mix them up a bit. And I have the four cards here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the top card, push it out. It's the ace of clubs. I'm gonna put it on the side. And then get the bottom card, which is the Ace of Clubs. Put it on the side. Snap my fingers, and I get the Ace of Clubs and Ace of Spades on this hand, and the red ones over here. So there what you have. What happened is I stepped on this tire, it was losing balance, as you can see, it's completely loose, and. Um, I lost my balance. So here's a quick trip, uh, quick tip if you didn't know it. Uh, if you have a seven-way connector, you get a, a fuse and you connect it on those two uh, upper connections or connectors, and that will give the um, that will turn on everything that runs on 12 volts. Uh, you can see the light right there being turned on. The ones in the top are also powered on. This is not connected to the truck and you can also see all these uh, lights and that's what I was saying earlier the same connector for those lights are what's going to power that camera that I mounted now I'm here in the truck and this is the connector that it comes with it so I'm gonna connect that in and um, I sort of turn it on and off right there I'm, again I'm new to this uh, camera uh, but I did install the antenna in the back and here you can see I turned it on and 
the RV is all the way over there and I'm over here with the um, monitor there I told my kid my kid goes all the way to the back and um, he wanted to get some video on there and you can see him right there so real-time recording all right everybody so there you have it hopefully you like this video uh, and hopefully you can install your own uh, camera to back up your RV it's pretty simple straightforward it does require some time and uh, adaptations again if you're new to my channel welcome please consider subscribing also hit that bell button so you can get notified anytime I upload a video my faithful subscribers welcome back hopefully you like this video as well and as always, I'll see you in the outdoors.